right, I think we're ready to begin. Um, let me see here. Uh, welcome, uh, nobody, to uh, today's Lonely Stream. Today, we're taking a break from the retro, uh, the rest of Overwatch Season 4. And gonna be playing some other stuff. First up is going to be Coffee Talk. And let me. I can't get a good gauge from the audio with this. So we'll just have to go with it is for now. Alright. So, uh, yes. So today we're going to be doing a playthrough of Coffee Talk. Um, I have originally... Mm, uh, played through this game, uh, I think maybe two times before, so I'm pretty much, uh, but I'm gonna re-familiarize myself to prepare for, uh, this, uh, right up here, episode two, Hibiscus and Butterfly, um, that I'm looking forward to playing. Um, for any of you who don't know, Coffee Talk is is a visual novel that, uh, much like a uh, game before it, uh, Valhalla, um, uh, like Valhalla had you in the role of serving drinks and you hear people's problems and stuff like that. It's a nice concept. So, um, so I'm, uh, so, so it's a nice concept and I recommend that you play it before watching mine. So, uh, we're gonna play it, uh, we're gonna get as far as we can with it, and then we're just gonna go. Seattle, 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time where the great war between races is but a footnote in history time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be and have the, and have those and have those being crushed before they can even be discussed but still it is a place and time where anything can happen it is when the elves have left the forest to build their startups and when the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. So this is the concept of it's Seattle, but there's orcs, elves, and other things. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of 
the city stands a coffee shop, a place that is only open when the sun is sleeping, a place where people share their stories, and these are their stories. Tuesdays, December 22nd, 2022, 2020. Okay, give me one second here. I'm going to cut the audio real quick because I want to see. Yeah. Okay, uh, so the. Uh, okay, so maybe. Get rid of that one, and yeah, that seems a little bit. That seems a bit better. All right. Excuse. Me. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. Back to the game. <clears throat> what? Well, welcome. Oh, it's you. Hi, healer. How's the night so far? It's calm as usual. We got a slight problem though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half of my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Just like... Casual cat girl just walking through. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Heh, <laughs> writer's block again? You got that right. What are you ready now? Do you remember my plan to... Ah, pardon the interruption, but the machine is ready. Do you want your triple shot espresso now? Yes, please. And if you get how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. So this is, let me see how this looks. Hold on. Okay, this seems fine. So this is the main, uh, this is the main gameplay section of is where you need to mix certain things. And then, like she said, um, Yeah, like you said, you have your phone here, and then you have Shuffled, aka Spotify, where you can uh, view the music that you listen to. And it is a solid, good, um, solid, good song tra track here if you're looking for a good chill music. Anyway, and then you have your Facebook. I know those are people we haven't met yet. And then you have your brew pad with. Which already has a lot of stuff in here, but as you uh, do it, as you go on uh, with the story, it gets more and more. So, uh, uh, triple shot espresso, or just espresso, is coffee, 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 coffee. And let's brew it. So here's the same. Here's the thing about it is you you have a limited amount of trashes before you can um, before you can screw it up. But you can uh, I think you can save the game beforehand and then jump back into it. So, but this is what we want. So serve one cu a cup of triple shot espresso, special for my only customer tonight. Mm, that aroma. Ah, uh, exactly what I need. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that! It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. <laughs> yeah. I can relate to that, Freya. 
At least you still have your job, in case thing goes awry. Hehehe. <laughs> uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? Uh, GRA Media, right? Yes. And they are also the biggest book publisher in the country. So, when an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of your big guys, uh, bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Don't look at me like that. Are you for real? <laughs> to be fair though, Cajoni is for doing it. Cajoni's for doing it. So how did they react? Thankfully, he's seen my short stories. So he challenged me. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings and get the Fiction Publishing Division to sign me up for a publishing deal. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. Ugh, now here's the catch. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper deadlines. Yeah, as I thought, you can, like, save the game at certain points, and then you can save the, yeah, so. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Ouch. Well, at least you got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Err. <laughs> I assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. May I see it? Um. Well. It was so bad that, uh, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. <sighs> so, zero. Oof, yes. I really need to finish it at, mo at most two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to p polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know, you don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. Hmm. Hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really glad this place could be a service. Oh, looks like someone's coming. Welcome. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. I'm really not sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend, not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. About something chocolatey, it perfect, it's perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. So what have we got with the chocolate? The dark chocolate. Oh wait, I need coffee, milk, milk. Fuck. 
and that's the other thing you can do in Latin Ariel. No wall trash in here. So, chocolate, milk, and milk. you're waiting for your boyfriend yes he should be here soon look at you now you want to empty to three customers in one night I thought this place would be more crowded considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here yeah that's the weird thing <laughs> is because it is the only coffee shop that's still open because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight, it's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, it is good for business. Having having the coffee shop o only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. Then why? I just love doing it. And there's always something uh, longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking, but how can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. The other here is damn rich. That's a secret. Oh, really? She's exaggerating. Don't worry about it. Healer can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. So you still have a weird, quiet place to meet at the night. That's good to hear. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and, and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Uh, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then are you here to write a new piece? I should be, but I don't even know what to write about. Yep, there he is. Welcome. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. Hi, would you like to order something? Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something bitter to keep me away with milk. And, dr and draw some latte art on the top. Something bitter to keep me awake. Yeah, so this is, like, honestly, I give them credit for going so hard on this. I 
Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Baileys. I was having a nice chat with them. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Baileys. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you. I'm Healer. Hey, did you know Healer is a writer for the Evening Whisper? Oh, really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, really? Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I'm assuming you're, you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad that in the, he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's, he's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this laser night are the lost are lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skill though. Thank you, I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever whatever it is that I'm gonna write. So I'll leave you too. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. Oh, not far. Just over at the table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, sorry I didn't hit my chat up. Should we move to other seats too? No, here is good. Okay, then. Now, let me see how this zoom in looks here. Hold on one second. Audio cut. Yeah. This is fine. So how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished up. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was it was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is, but today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You, you know those memes had to pick terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her and lose my current project for a, for a minute of laughter. <laughs> that might be worth it. You should ask Healer here how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones that don't need, the ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods, but it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Your parents? Yes. So you've talked to them. I did. It didn't end well. No. What did they say? A lot. You can smell the tension. They won't give us a chance at all. Anyone but an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I may not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. 
I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume. Uh-oh. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old, old uh, that word. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures, about our immortality, and about how, how even if I outlive you, what? Nothing. But how, how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already being tainted by a lowly succubus? That's exactly what they said. So this is it then, the end of our relationship? It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this, what do you mean? They don't need to know what, to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been, without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'm glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You will lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. And you don't need any more reasons. You know you're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. <sighs> I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua, wait! I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's all right. This coffee shop has, all, has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours have a hat will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Do you have anything that's warm that can help me calm me down? Do you like green tea, tea lattes? Green tea lattes. I'll take one, and that would be green tea. Green tea, milk milk. Green tea, milk milk. Labro. I do love the shots here showing the process. It's real nice. Serve it! Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Me? No. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop, but I'm sure not. The, um, but I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <sighs> I didn't really have any expectations. Man, out of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, and mortal douchebags. At least you have an eternity to learn to change. Or an eternity or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I need to go now. I'll probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sunrise. More time more time for me to drink than see you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. You are listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up early, early than usual. Okay. I think I'm going to close the, sh the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the delivery is coming tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night. You too. Luck. 
And this is nice too. It shows you he's like, hey, here's here's a. Uh... All right, day one complete. Wednesday, September twenty third, twenty twenty. Sorry. Knifewalker novel versus movie level loosely based. The old one? Of course I'm talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know? You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like you can't t tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can, you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. What? 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 Just kidding. Wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's gonna come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories I'll have. Good evening, y'all. Oh, that's right. We should probably... Because I think we have... Have. Is this? Yeah. Biz Dev Leave at Discovery Natural Cabinet, Bailey's Freelance Designer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this screams. This screams. Artist right here. Freelance Designer, Museum, and Art Gallery. Freelance Art School graduate will draw and design for food and shelter. Freya, birthday 29 January, writer for the uni. Whisper talks about mundane things, art, and life in general. This is a good photo. Okay. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Healer, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. <laughs> You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. You have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks to your Tomodachi provider, everyone knows you. You're lactose intolerant. You're anyway, a cup of sweet healthy coffee, please. So, yeah, because that's the. Th okay, yeah, so. Save. Coffee. Uh, yeah, 
we'll do. Coffee. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage this combination as well as you. Yeah, because, wait, what's his profile? Born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me with the service like you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. The only, the one and only espresso. Coffee, 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 coffee. Espresso! A starless night sky uh, for the green-haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So how's everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual, awful. She's making a risky deal with her boss? Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possible... A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously? Care to share the details properly? You tell him. She's secretly using her working hours to do something else. Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of, go the leap of faith going so far? I it's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she messes this thing up, though. need a drink. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Healer said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll be really pissed if she finds out, though. Wait, is stealing time a crime? Technically, I might have to arrest you. Ugh. Hey, you do it all the time, too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they might take longer than they're meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. Also, I love the difference here where she has, like, a smartphone in, like, this fancy flip-open leather case and he... he and then he just has a regular old ass flip phone. I love this. This is such a nice detail. You should feel bad. Stop any to the salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention that you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that. There's no stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write about any shitty looking police officer who loves to take breaks more than they should have inside the coffee shop near their post. <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. He'll make he'll make a good comedic character. Is that a compliment or are you making fun of me? Yeah. 
I wouldn't call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Healy is probably worried about losing customer due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'll be using real names. I know I'll dr uh, dramatize most things I've heard, of course. Let's use the multiple drinks. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard, they'll only be the inspiration for what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I'm assuming you've heard a lot of stories from people around here, right? No. Come on! Nope. No, no, no. You helped me. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. One about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block. I'm sure you can give me other interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. What, really? Now it's, now it's my turn to say, come on. Which stories are you talking about? You asked for information about the busker. The one who's already always playing his cars and always got a rose with him. Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during the investigation is... I don't know. It's hard. Hearing about your girlfriend. You took it quite well, to be honest. It was hard, but at least you gave him closure. You ever complained that you used this? He, he never complained that you used the story for the paper. Got his blessing before giving it to the editors. Oh, well, at least he's become more popular since. The article was published, more income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the roast is, has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl's been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than before. She's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. But she has bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so ex excited to hear some about something real. You think you're not real? Wow. <laughs> that went deep fast. Faster than my career going downhill. Hey, what's with the sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Um, because I spend a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I, I kind of felt their pain. What's happening to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before, but it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are there regulars here? Nope. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was w with her co-workers or clients, helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course. Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolates, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Hmm. Good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shit. Oh yeah, go on and do your job, old man. Don't forget to share any in anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can't promise you that. Okay then, see you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. <sighs> later. I think I need to go back to my writing. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. Good luck with the writing. And don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're just the best healer. You're welcome. Okay, off to the world of imagination I go. Go on. Hmm. 
Hmm, that should do for the experiment. Ah, oh, someone is coming. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, healer. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. Dot, 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 dot. Hmm, this is the place you recommend? You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to it till I but Gala, it's fine. Uh sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? You first. Okay. Save here. Cause <sighs> As if I recall correctly, this dude has a special drink. Sorry, hold on one second. What the hell is this? Because I know he has a specific drink that he wants. Okay, uh, 
serve it. Here's your order. Hmm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing someone changes after just a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I believe this was a bar back then. When did you open this coffee shop? We opened around six years ago, Mr... Hyde. My name is Hyde. Yeah, that you're from L.A., right? I am. I used to live here decades ago, though. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. I'll probably be here for a few weeks. He travels a lot, I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume? You can say that. I think we met so long after you got married, right? It was around the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not for our kind. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So when you guys said you met in, in there in the 60s, were you talking about the 1860s? Yeah. No, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some racist standards, but not that old. Though it's still fair to say we haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? We, where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. They moved. Bankrupt. Ah, oh, such a pity. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh, you're happy the bar closed down? What's with the smile, if you don't mind? <laughs> nothing. I was just wondering, will history repeat itself? I certainly hope not. I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. It won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gollum. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about that new found vir virus going viral. The hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that, but most people who come in are just... I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. You're still doing the same job in the same hospital? What was it called? Admission officer. And yes, I'm still a hospital admission officer there. They should have given you a promotion for your loyalty and long service. They offered me a managerial position, but I declined. I prefer doing this. Heh. <laughs> to each their own. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still, still sell legal blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore, they can just order it through that blood marketplace app. Are you talking about Bloodlust? Mm-hmm. Bloodlust gets their supply from the hospital. They can't, they can't certify blood on their own. Only hospital and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just a middleman with a lot of sales promos. Do you use it often? Not really. I'm trying a new vegan lifestyle, remember? But I do know the founder of that startup. Oh yeah? How's your vegan diet going? It's not easy, but nothing I can't conquer. By going vegan, do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It'd be too complicated to explain, but basically some scientists are working on to make some kind of blood that can satisfy my kind without relying on real blood. Considering Lear blood has some cultural and health concern, does it taste the same? More or less, yeah. Is it gonna, isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it, though. But again, they're still working on it, trying to make it more affordable for everyone. Hmm. Would synthetic blood uh, taste good if it's mixed with other green? Why? You want to start studying blood they spring? I might attract it might attract new customers and turn off others. Fair point. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires prefer drinking raw blood. Although some do try experimenting. Although some do try experimenting with 
other things. Other things? Mostly booze. And I know some that mix, some mix it with not so illegal substances. Eh. You know a lot. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle reminded me to ask you something. About what? Your monthly fury. Found a less painful m m method to restrain yourself? Not yet, but I do know that it's a drink. What kind of drink? A certain comp a combination of ginger and caffeine. Is that why you order coffee with ginger? Yeah, so I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine in coffee for it to be the remedy. Why don't you use the fairy sedative available on the market? I don't trust them. Besides, the sedative is too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. Hold on one second here. Cord was stuck. Cord was tangled. <laughs> Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find, and sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. How effective will this drink be? Enough to calm me down, and that's all I need, to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. I heard some werewolves need to do kinky stuff to soothe themselves during their fury. What kind of kinky? Like BDSM. That only happens in porn. Wait, what? It's famous among our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you don't like watching that kind of thing, you know? Hey, a friend told me about it while well, he was pulling your leg. Damn. I mean, having sex as a calming method is pretty, it's pretty common. But normally we stick to vanilla stuff. Come to think of it, it would be pretty brutal doing bondage stuff during the Fury. Exactly. So continuing with your story, how far along, you're, how far along are you in finding the ingredients for the remedy? So far, all I know it involves ginger, and probably something lightly caffeinated, like tea, maybe. Ah, there's the hint. You better write that down. You won't you won't want him wreaking havoc in the coffee shop. We don't have any tea today, but the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing the remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go. There's an emergency at the hospital. I think I'll go back now as well. We can share a cab. Alright. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit the coffee shop again before I go back. So I'll see you around. Thank you for coming. Take care, uh, take care on your way home. Hey! Are you done with your writing for tonight? Kinda. Us two guys kinda reminds me of this video I saw online. I would prefer it if you didn't start fantasizing. It's a video of a wolf pup playing with a baby tiger. It's nice to see friendship that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know... Oh, never mind. You. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. You're really bad at it. Anyway, it's... It was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now we need to get some sleep. Yes, please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you again tomorrow, I assume. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night, night. Be careful on your way back. Thursday, September 24th.
in the news today. Stop workplace racial profiling. The orcas, uh, the orcas worker union demands. Despite losing a member of Super Smile's latest album, sold a million copies. Walking is now part of. That's why. Why do, <coughs> why do I think that that's going to, uh, aren't there, like, I don't think, is there a YouTuber vlogging stuff? I know there's, like, website and stuff, but yeah, God, no. Well, it depends how old they are, I mean, I'm not going to make any exception. Let us begin. Welcome. Yo. Cup of honey milk, please. Right away. And we'll save you. And milk. Honey. And honey. And a brew. The honey milk. Milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Healer, seems like there's a cat. Oh my gosh, you got in with me. Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Hi, barista. Yes, I love some milk. <laughs> okay, give me a second here. I need to get uh, some more to drink here. Hold on. Yes, I love some milk. Holy. You look 
look like you've just seen a ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's been a while since it's been a while since I last saw a Neko a Neko Mimi transforming. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends. I won't say that I have. You folks really use your family form to commute? If that's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. And commuting as a human. I mean, and commuting in bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Oh, I'm sorry. What kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No, nope, milk and nothing else. I can have milk. La milk. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Thank you. Are you hitting on an underage girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. It's really good. You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown up who can take care of herself. Er, you don't look like a grown up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I call too young. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Pre pretty much. Well, I'm not an old lady like you for sure. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? I'm sure you know. Or, I don't. Oh my, are you. Just say it. If it's. If this is something illegal, or are you in danger? Blink twice. Really? With a cute face like mine. Exactly. Seriously, you never see me on TV or social media? I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Psst, snob. Part of the a broke but woke movement, I see. You must be the broke part. I don't see you ordering any, you ordering any drinks. What, too broke for a cup of coffee? <laughs> She's not that great for business. She's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder, could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So what do you want to order? The usual. Coffee, 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 coffee. And deserve it. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you like it. Wait a minute. You do look familiar. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. I'm serious. You can see with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. How comes this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit to drink milk, no less. Yay! Achievement unlock God. To, uh, to quote... Uh, to quote Peppermint, Stop! No, C. 
seriously, why are you here? Well, you know, the usual young folks problem. I had a fight with my father, and so here I am. Oh, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to be out alone this late? You don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. Now I'm really worried. Anyway, what happened? My dad, we got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. What's plain? This is such a good character image for Gala. Journalist and short story ready to read my surreal and short stories at the evening whispers. Idolize and inspire to be someone like Gil Nyman or Mariki Harakumi. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? She passed away a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad knows anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Good evening, healer. Good evening, girls I've never met before. I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, healer. Yes, officer? I need something for my sore throat. Can you get a, a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? Green tea, lemon, and the honey. It's literally called cough syrup. I do love the coffee art. I do. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Er, cough syrup? Of course you do. Let's just see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Damn. This is great. How's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I just was in something scary on my show today. Tell me, tell me. Are you sure you want to hear it? Yes. The scary thing I witnessed was my salary. Seriously? Yeah, today's payday, and I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible shift. So I, other than that and the labor union protests, everything is fine, though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Huh, oh, thank you for coming. Hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Mysterious person. Who the hell was that? She just sat there and read? I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. Don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar, but you're underage, right? How how did you know? You can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say, especially when you have to deal with them every day. Don't know why you're here, but everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all your problems while you're here. 
Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of some... It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a cop. That's exactly his job. Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgian? Of course, this is the safe place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> what? Don't look at me that way. You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to house? How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? You should know. You're a father yourself. Oh. Right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya, she has good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, miss. Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Well, hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have come down, I've learned something about them, and they learned something about me as well. As long as we don't leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was only just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before. Before it happened, you mean before your solo career? No, before Mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Nothing. We just don't talk about it until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. Ain't that, ain't that the truth of life, Georgie. It ain't easy, but you gotta understand each other better. As, as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Mm -hmm. bad when mom was around she was the only one who understood me and she also understood your father maybe he and your mom also had arguments but your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you that's possible now that mom's gone i don't have anyone anyone to act as my guardian and your dad he lost and your dad he lost his best negotiator Wait a second. You said this ha has happened a little. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe because I'm the, I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can con confirm that. Hey, I run here a lot. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. But unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you in good terms with your parents now? I am. When and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give your time to think, Miss Rachel. <laughs> and try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now, now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home. 
as well. I can give you a ride. But you don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. That will allow him to think more clearly about everything. You're right. You really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So where do you live, Mr. Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh, that's quite far. You're still gonna drive me home, right? Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. Thank you, Healer and Freya. Take care on your way home. See you around, Healer. And there they went. Yes, you can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Why don't you just come clean? Tell your boss about the publishing officer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel in your dreams. Not exactly employee of the month. You never know. You never know, I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. Under pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door is always open for you. <laughs> I bet it is. Okay, then. Take care. Be careful on your way home. Spice Lady. Coffee top. Coffee, 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 coffee. What's in the news today? Werewolf activist in prison. Uh, werewolf activist in prison for owning a legal fury sedative. The Orcas Workers Union in talks with government over their pleas. Rap group Street Orchestra questioned over their pro eco terrorism lyrics. Oh, I don't need a clock. I can just hit space. Ah! Good evening, Mr. Hyde. Evening. Are you by yourself tonight, sir? Gala is coming after his shift. Hmm. It's pretty empty here. You're our first customer tonight. Eh. Is there something wrong? Nothing. It's just a bit strange to say R. When obviously there's only you here. Oh. I guess it's just me, but when I'm working, I always put myself as the barista and the coffee shop. I see. Me. Anyway, I need to order something. What do you want to drink tonight? Hmm. Do you have any blood? Uh, sorry, sir, but we don't. Come on, did you think I was serious? Oh. Make sure it's very warm and bitter. Let's restart that. I forgot there's tea and there's green tea. Okay. Green tea, 
ginger and ginger brew. said you're here for work, yes. For a couple of weeks. You're not in the medical industry like Mr. Gala, are you? Hell no. I can never imagine myself doing something so... What's the word? Something as honorable as that. Hmm? Then are you dealing with something I shouldn't ask about? I'm not a criminal. In case that's what you had in mind. I mean, it's not an evil job per se, but definitely not as honorable as working in the hospital. Then what is it? Yes, you travel a lot, more or less. You befriended a startup founder, so I'm assuming you either have your own startup or you work in some kind of investment agency. <laughs> I used to, but not anymore. That startup founder, he's just a friend. Then what do you do? I've had many career paths in my life. They got boring after a while, so right now I'm a model. I didn't expect that, but you have the looks and the figures, so I guess it makes sense. You want to know a secret? Sure. Those ads for anti-aging skincare products? No way. Vampire models. We are naturally good looking. As Edward would agree, skin paler than it elves. But we don't have those annoyingly pointy ears, which makes us basically a bunch of good looking living mannequins. How better to advertise anti-aging products than with people who naturally don't age? Isn't that false advertising? <laughs> don't be naive. The truth is, it's a matter of circumstance and perspective. Advertise is just framing the truth. I never thought of it that way. How long have you been modeling? Oh, not long. Not much more than 30 years. Wow. Good evening. Can you please be a little quieter? There's another customer here. Act like a civilized person if you can. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to make this place a little livelier. You don't mind, right, sir? No, I don't mind. I'm pretty sure I saw you the last time I was here. You bet. You could say I'm a regular here, hence the attitude. Hey! You look very happy. Any special occasion? Nah, eh, nothing. This is my default state. She only has two states, either extreme excitement or super stress. Stop putting me in a bad light. Anyway, what were you talking about? We were talking about Mr. Hyde's profession. And what is your profession, dear sir? I'm a model. And he's been doing it for 30 years. Holy shit, 30 years of modeling. That's a long time. Not for me. <laughs> my current liaison... My current liaison the clothing plan I work with is the daughter of the, of the, the guy I worked with, with when I started modeling. I usually work until it's the grandchild. That's really cool. I'm Freya, by the way. Nice to meet you, Freya. How's the writing so far? It's okay, but I'm stuck in need of a warm drink, so brew me something, please. Coffee? Nah, I need to take it slow tonight. Make me something warm and sweet without coffee.
A warm, sweet drink ready. Nice. A perfect drink to end the day. Why do you like it? So you're a writer. Let me see here. Coffee, 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 in case you didn't get it the first time. Bring Fran a night time. What am I doing in my life? Working as a journalist because it's the best way to learn to write better, to talk to people who have more experience than you and get paid for learning things. Movie, police, you and Ray Cops are any robber cop. What am I doing in life? Father, uh, my girls. And then here's Rachel. Who I believe it's this one. But I'm also working on my own novel right now. Sounds interesting. What kind of novel are you writing? Er, it's complicated. You should wait until she finishes it. Yeah, no spoilers. That's if she ever manages to finish it. Yeah, that too. What's the genre? Slice of life. So not fantasy or sci-fi. Hmm, I'm still not sure. But it'll probably be normal slice of life. You'll have tough competition. You're not wrong. I'd probably put out. I'll probably put some surreal elements in there. Maybe I'll send it to a world where only humans exist. <laughs> Sounds a bit racist. That's the twist. This isn't about racial supremacy. I imagine even if a world where only one race exists, problems will still appear anyway. Discrimination and racism will still happen. How can they be racist without other races? <laughs> thus, 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 uh, thus the interesting factor of this as well. Differences in language, nationality, ideology, or even skin color. When everything's the same, the smallest differences will stand out. Perhaps it's diversity that can teach us to look past differences. All I is, we'll always find a way to hate others. I assure you of that. That doesn't really sound all that funny. Hey, it's fantasy. That's what fictions are for, anyway. Painting the what ifs. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. I'll buy your book when it comes out. And I'll fly back here to have it signed. Ah, oh, thank you. And if I recall correctly, this should be... Lua! Hi everyone. Good evening, Miss Lua. Hi there. How's it going? Great, thanks. Are you by yourself? Yeah, just finished a meeting. I need an escape from my co-workers, so I decided to come here instead. Is Bailey's coming? No, he's not. He's a freelancer, remember? He's free to do whatever he wants. Is everything okay? To be honest, we haven't talked much since the other day. Um, we shall fix that with a warm drink then. Good idea, thanks. I'm in the mood for a green tea latte. Green tea latte? Is there a problem? No, it's nothing, sorry. Then a cup of green tea latte, please. At the green tea with the milk and the milk, and uh, we press the brew button, and then the green pictures appear. And then the uh, green tea latte is serving. Your green tea latte is ready. Thank you. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly longing for a green tea latte. Like this drink feels really heartwarming. Call me pretentious, but I think drinks have power. To connect people's hearts. Well, that's surprisingly deep for a cup of tea. By the way, about Bailey, has he visited this place again after our last meeting? Not that I know of. He hasn't. Oh. 
I should apologize for the commotion because... Oh, please don't worry about that. Who is this Bailey's person you keep mentioning? Bailey's is... Or was, I don't know. My boyfriend. We had a little fight a few days ago. About what? Hey, is it okay for him to just ask her like that? You tell me. Dude, I'm just a customer. You're the owner of this place. <laughs> it's an old problem. I'm a succubus and he's an elf. Hmm, the usual racial problems then. Psst, sure some manners, old man. What? I'm just following up on questions you started. It's alright. Bailey and I have different views on the importance of family. My family is pretty close, and they're usually supportive, but when it comes to dating an elf, they fear that it'll be treated like, uh, like a peasant. Oh, the, the, the horns are the starting to, to a glow. Bailey's, on the other hand, he comes from a well-respected elven family. They can be cagey at times, I get it, but for whatever reason, he took his family for granted. It's not surprising that his family would disagree with the with the relationship. You don't sound like the most suck I know. How's your boyfriend dealing with us? He said we should just keep going, just the same as we've been for the last ten years. So you've been together for ten years as a couple, and he's suggesting that both of you should go on as usual. I mean, your relationship for the past ten years, that was out that was without family approval. Well, yes, but I want our relationship to move forward. I want a family. Did he disagree with the idea of marrying you? No, quite the opposite. He wanted to marry me. What's the problem then? It's not that simple. He'll fa his family will disown him. He wants to marry you even if he has to leave his family? Yes. Problem solved, then. Why do you have to care so much about what his or your family thinks? Just marry him. Make a family of your own. It's not that simple. I don't want to be held responsible if he regrets his decision one day. Abandoning one's family is not a solution. What if marrying me is a mistake? What if he regrets leaving his family? I can't take that kind of responsibility. I can't let him make that sacrifice. Lua, did you ever think about the risk when you did you ever think about the risk when you started dating him? Yes, no, maybe a little bit. We didn't think it would get this far. Heh. <laughs> From what I can see, you're the problem here. You're pretty ready for wanting it all. Him, family approval. If you're asking me. If you're asking for racial reconciliation, might as well ask for world peace. Old man, stop talking. Lua, if I may ask, do you want to marry Bailey's? I love him, of course I do. Even so, I can't let him leave his family for me. It would be selfish, because I can't do the same for him. I love my family so much, no matter how messy they are. Well, that's difficult. So you're forcing so you're forcing your boyfriend to have the same life as you have. That blood is thicker than water mentality won't work here. Not even family is worth fighting for, you know. Some are not his. Have you ever met Bailey's family? No. They've always rejected the idea. Did he try to introduce you? did he try to introduce you to them? He did. You can't have it all, lady. This is not a fairy tale. This is not a story where some fairy grandmother will suddenly appear and grant your wishes. This is how things go in real life. You have to take chances and make sacrifices. And you choose and you choose which one is best for you. Pretty simple. I... I'm sorry, I have to leave. I hate to be the girl who will but thank you for the advice. 
take care on your way, Miss Lua. I will. <sighs> you were super harsh, old man. <laughs> but you agree with me, don't you? Well... Yeah, he's just a blunt old man. Did I get her? Yeah. Oh, I got her full. I can uh, um, love her the bright moonlight. Believe her in a life without a fight. I'm a big fan of her. When I'm doing it, working nine to five in a training company by day, going to poetry and museums on the weekends. Enraptured by the forbidden fruit. Didn't have to say it so harshly, you know. What are you doing by here by yourself anyway? I'm trying to pick a fight with everyone. I'm waiting for a friend. Well, there he is. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Gala. How are you doing, Freya? I'm fine. But your friend here is one hell of a troublemaker. What did you do this time, Hyde? Stated facts. Harshly. To someone that needed it. But not the, but not the way you said it. Let me order a drink first. Thank you. Any folks did tell me about what happened. What are you having this evening, sir? Do you remember my fury remedy? I mentioned it a couple of days ago. The one with ginger and caffeine? Yes. Can you help me try to figure out what it is? Sure. I should try... Tea, ginger. You'll know when you get it right. Of course, because it's, because it's named after you. Save the game. And resume the game. So, tea, ginger, and milk. No. Try green tea. storyteller than me. Alright, so there's this girl. And that's about it. Hide. Oh, hide. You, you never change, do you? Oh, both of you are going to judge me for... Oh, both of you are going to judge me for being honest now. Dude, honesty is good and all, but... But you know, try not to be a dick. Listen to her hide. She's got a good point. Ugh. Not you too. I was a bit surprised though. Usually you don't bother with this kind of thing. I've seen you actually avoid it. <laughs> you do know me. We've been friends for years. Yeah, of course. I don't know why I can't. 
I guess the vibe in this place has seeped into me. I understand. This place does have that special magic. Not exactly a good magic, judging from the reaction I've received today. You may be right, but there are better ways to say what you have in mind. Anyway, I've got to go so soon. It's past midnight. I need to get some sleep. Take care in your way, Freya. Sleep tight. See you guys. Why are you staring me like that? Nothing. What did you want to talk about when you told me to meet up here? I was just bored, and that's the surest way to make you come out. Seriously? I thought the story from Freya was enough to fill your daily dose of interaction. Well, it was. Something, indeed. Hmm, you said something about being my friend for years. Yes, why? Do you ever wonder what it would be like if we hadn't met? What do you mean? Forget it. It's late anyway. I need to get back. Huh? Alright, healer. Thanks for the evening. The pleasure was mine. Bye. What was that? You know him better than I do, Mr. Gallo. Care for another drink in the day? Uh, sure. Saturday, September 26, 2020. Today in the news, Atlantic countries plead for the land folk to send help in instead it to send help instead of trash. Opinion, who watches the watchman in Seattle? And <laughs> cats are the best creatures on earth, research has proven. Really? Okay. I mean, if it's research, I mean. Welk, welk, oh. Um, welcome. Hello there. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Ah, the usually, ah, the usual earthling linguistic problem. We'll never, we will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Order anything, sir? Oh, yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. Hmm, what do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Uh, what do you mean? It is alright, forget it. But this is the most expensive drink here. Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far, have you decided on what to order then? Okay, we would like to order anything. Anything? Anything. Sir, I hope it is to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. Um... Yes. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That is a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use we use our appendages to drink. Usually, a polyporine drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what you call the plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean the straw? Yes. We wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided on was provided on 87.76% of all drinking occasions we encountered and has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants on your planet. Anyway, how do you drink with a straw? 
this the same as we just did, but thanks to the plastic stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages in the liquid. Extra you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthling's decision-making process. I see. I guess people will suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you say you just arrived. Where did you come from, sir? Far? It would be too complicated to tell you all the details. But we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what the Earthlings call a female. And then... Breed. So you came from a faraway place to find a date. Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm talking. I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Er, I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is, is extremely confusing sometimes. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. <sighs> of all the places we have been to, this place has this place has the worst communicate uh, communication methods. Can't argue with that. So how's the mission so far? Not good. We are using this unique uh, communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. Although the success rate of the breeding is not as high as the interaction, huh? I never heard about wait. Are you talking about a dating app? This system used a fire symbol as their sign. You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, that means you do not want to breed. If you swipe right, it means you want to breed. Err. And when the two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence introduction to me. In the paint, it didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with me with very big letters on the communication platform. Also, they said that some... They also said some words that cannot be considered proper. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get them to meet? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear, but some did. Yes, but we got confused by the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings, even though we decided to go to various recommended places according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places. Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But you should have arrived some time ago. Maybe Earthlings also has different interpretations of time. You're right about that. Oh, it's this one. Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Cafe latte, please.
Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Yes. Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for any. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. She's an orc just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But is your name Arukai69? Is this guy sane? Please pardon the miss. I don't think they're from around here. So... No. My name is Martel and I never use Uruk I-69 anywhere. Oh. You really are not her. So I think we just got a profile. Oh wow, we got a lot. Birthday, 13 May, game developer, game program, working on the Full Metal Complex series. Of course I'm not. Seriously, m men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends to g or go to a club or something? But we don't have any friends on Earth. Are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up to now, they're not from this planet, man. Pardon us for interrupting you, but when you said club, what kind of activities are you talking about? Result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about. They call themselves Trekkies. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, uh, an hour ago according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big trans, she's not coming. Sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. She didn't reply. I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Martle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are pretty objective people, but somehow Earth Vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This happened before, many times. I'm sorry to hear that, but it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed. The most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never ceases to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not have to be here anymore. You can say if you like, oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. We will visit uh, this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please just call me Healer. Thank you for your time, Healer. And thank you for your input, also, Miss Martin. We'll definitely study the breeding strategies for us, sure. It's called Norm, by the way. Uh, the breeding norms. Although you can use also use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay, then, we are off. Thank you, you're on your way. Oh boy, who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. Wh what is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Laika the dog? A date from the dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut first before going on a date. I mean, throwing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know. I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. What do you mean? They might be an alien. 
alien, like Englishman in New York alien, or alien, 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 outer space, probably, or other dimensions, I don't know, wow, like super wow, I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but wow, life is never boring here, that's why I'm writing about it, oh yeah, how's it going so far, the writing, yes, the writing, with the capital T, and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? Uh, uh eh? What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? Oh, I forgot, I forgot I had these. shit together. good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft anyway. Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? Um, it's okay, Freya. <sighs> Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. Read, 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 read. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? 20 minutes later. Hmm, what's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. 
Too bad, you have a prime example standing in front of you every day. Prime example you? You're like the most mysterious person I ever met. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Welcome, would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding? I'll order right away. Uh, no need to hurry. Take your time. Hmm. If it, is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like, as long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then, please. Do I even fucking have that listed? about? From the look of it, I think so. Let's give it a taste. This is a bad miss. Oh no, it's really good. I just, it just brought back some memory. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Huh? Where were we? The main character? The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. Don't worry about it. They won't notice unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write, if you say so. Er, sorry. Hmm? Be right back. Mm.
say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. No, yeah, well, yeah, but I only write small scale fiction. What's playing right now? Small scale fiction, short stories for the newspaper, or non fiction story about people in this town. She's writing a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading from the draft for it. Hey! Wow, how many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book if I finished it. I've always wanted to be a fiction writer, but conjuring words is hard. I'm a writer. And even if I can't use complex words like conjure, just like you did, a lot of people have said my vocabulary is uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Oh, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. And this barista here is Hila. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know? Thanks. You said you can't write, but research paper needs a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed, but it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Whoa. It involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I would guess. It would attract many readers. Oh my, I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's alright. Excuse me for interrupting, yes. You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe the one I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was in, in, pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Oops, I'm sorry, I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you meet someone who likes the things you worked on. I love that series so much. But you already know that. My name is Martel. I'm the one of the technical artists. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to turn into discussion any further. But I c could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries through your department's contact form, but we haven't received any reply. Oh yes, that happens a lot. The form sends queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. Talking about, is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Same with most gamers, Myrtle. Same with most gamers. Nonetheless, 
Hollywood. They have they have the budget for the flashy visual, but I doubt they'll do the series justice. Why? Because games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium. And FMC is no exception to that. They could be referring to Metal Gear. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, eh, not much. Do you play weird, obscure art games? The type of game you may see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. Not the first same weird. It's not that. Usually, don't, uh, usually people that play art games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers, and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them require a whole different level of many things. Eh, sorry, I rambled on for too long. At least, that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. Jeez, I like her. I played those type of... I play this type of game thanks to the people I hang out with. Yeah, you got that look of an arts, artsy hipster, you know. Nailed it. So you understand my point about the amputation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to go home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course it won't bother me at all. Do I have the profile? I think I do. There's Aqua. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Healer. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. Take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. So, yes, that was a nice talk, but you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. I could see you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kind of good. Seriously, that's it. I'm not an editor. Do you certainly need to have a list of notes for you? Yes. Really? You're mysterious, that much is true, but I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. Well, well the night is young. Bring it on. Okay. Let's start at the beginning. to the next day, I'm assuming we do. Press any key. Which one is any key? God, I can't believe I remember that joke. That's such a bad joke. Uh, what's in the news today? Research found that most fairy sedative on the market is not safe. Profile, Morris, Morris Lesser from Slum to Glam. Pajama clad 27 year old actually found um, that word on his own bed. Hold on Freya. No, you're on your phone, I need to read my phone. Cyberpunk level tell, room service, get this order to 512. The order came around 10.30 p.m. I was doing nothing, or in other words, waiting for the order to come. Yeah, I can't read that. My throat's starting to hurt. I can't read those. Uh...
Okay, Freya. Do you want to order anything else? I'm good for now. I'll order again once I'm finished reading this. Okay, then. I'll leave you, leave you with whatever that is. Fancy seeing you again so soon. Hi, Freya. Hi, Healer. Good evening, Miss Aqua. How are you two doing? Same old. I'm good. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Oh, oops. I asked that already. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Is Myrtle here? So far, it's only me and Healer. We have you with us now, of course. Are you meeting her tonight? Oh, it's not that. I was just wondering whether she's coming here again tonight. You have her email, right? Yeah. Why don't you just tell her to come and meet you here now? They, that always works for me when I, whenever I want to talk to someone. Eee, that wouldn't be nice. It's not that important anyway. I just wanted to follow up on the questions your team sent today. I'll follow up directly. I mean, anyway, I should order something. Take your time, Miss Aqua. It's all right. I'll order now. I'll have a cup of tea with lemon and cinnamon, please. Da tea da. No, oh, that's mint. Da tea da lemon and da cinnamon. The Russian tea. Here you go. Oh, it looks so pretty. If I'm not mistaken, it's called Russian tea, right? Oh, you knew? I've heard about it once. I'm pretty sure the only parts that's Russian is the name. It was originally from a community cookbook or something. You're right. Oh, that's a highly specific fun fact to know. And I guess I spend too much time browsing the internet. And did you arrive, Fred? I've been here since you left last night. Dub dub dub. <laughs> Finish drinking first, Aqua. Oh, I'm sorry. As you said, you haven't left? I was just joking. Oh, that would be crazy. Why? Oh, oh no. I didn't mean to offend you or anything. It's just that you shouldn't forget to take breaks. You too, healer. Please make sure you get enough rest. Oh, of course I will. Aqua, thank you for the reminder. By the way, Aqua. Yes? Where do you come from? Because, judging from your accent, you're not from the States, right? I'm not. I'm from the ocean. Whoa, so you're a full-fledged oceanic? Born and raised in the sea. Why did you move here? Choosing the American dream, I guess. You moved with your family? No, I'm the only one who could move here. Oh. Me and why? It's not easy for our people. Especially the females, to get higher education. I got scholarships and the opportunity. I wasn't sure about moving, you know, but my parents pushed me to do it. How long have you been here? Almost two years now. Do your parents visit often? They can. Do you know how, do you know how hard it is? Is it for my people to get a visa? I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay, we're still in contact. We do a video call at least once a week. Do you have siblings? Of course. We are sea people. My extended family is probably big as Seattle's population. Whoa. That's a lot. You really have that many relatives? <laughs> of course not. I was just exaggerating. But if you count my grandparents, grandpa's kids, and grandkids, there are hundreds of us. Holy. How about you, Freya? have any siblings? I have. Not as many of you, I assume. <laughs> I have a little brother. Four years younger. He also lives in Seattle? No, he's living in San Francisco. Near our parents' house. He's the good kid and I'm the rebel. I'm working some high-end tech job. While taking care of my dad on the weekends. That's so nice of him. I know, right? That reminds me. I should visit my parents after finishing this draft. You should. Visit them while you can. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, she's so anime. I love it. Did we get an update to Aqua? Oh, we got full. Mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert. Do you love her? 
favorite thing full metal conflicts video games in general is grandma move to seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can trying to find the place in person where i belong while doing something i love i know anyway i want to order something another espresso you know the usual coffee 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 Serve it. Your espresso is ready. Thanks. Bitter. That's the way I love it. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How can I help you, sir? Ah, oh, yes. Mm, I don't know what to order. Something to raise your spirits, perhaps? Mm. you like on the menu? I can make you a custom drink if you like. Actually, are you familiar with STMJ? Sorry, I never heard of it. If you can tell me the dream yet, I'm sure I can recreate it. Ah, oh, lucky me. STMJ stands for Susu Teller Madujai. It's Indonesian. It means milk, egg, honey, and ginger. Understood. Wait, do you have the eggs? I certainly have. They're not on the shelf. I'll have the egg once I mix the rest of the drink. Okay, let's save that. It said milk. I mean, say milk, ginger, and what? Milk, honey, and ginger, right? STMJ, sir. Ah, that smell. It brings back so many memories. It's quite difficult to find a place with proper STMJ here in the States. I traveled to so many places, and none of them got it right. You're the first to manage it. Excuse me, may I ask you girls something? Sure, ask away. What kind of things do you kids like doing nowadays? Excuse me? Aren't you college students? Um, no, we're not. <laughs> and then he just says, like, boop. <laughs> he just says, like, on Aqua's face. Uh, I see. You are, er, you're being creepy, old man. Go back to your chair and keep your distance. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be creepy. Hey, healer. I just... This is for me, old man. I want to... I have no idea. It's his first time here. I want to be able to understand young people. God, you're here, Officer Jordy. What up? There's a creepy old man trying to flirt with us. Where? You mean him? Yes, but not so loud. This man is here. Here's Rachel's dad, Freya. He asked to meet me, so I told him to come here. Oh. Didn't know if Rachel's dad was a pretty old man. No wonder she ran away from home. Everyone, P everyone please meet uh, Mr. Furlong, Rachel's dad. 
Mr. Frelin, please be free and heal her. Please, call me Hendry. I apologize for earlier. I wasn't trying anything funny. I'm sorry about that. Wait a minute. Your name is Hendry Furlong? Yes. And you're Rachel Valencia's father? Furlong? Florencia? Why do you have different last names? What are you trying to pull? Florencia's was my late wife's maiden name. Oh. I'm sorry. Rachel chose it for her stage name. Freya. Okay, I think I think I better work on my novel. I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. Eh, Freya, I'll come with you. Anyway, what was it that you wanted to talk to me about? I love how they both have old school flip phones. I love it. It's about Rachel. That night when you drove her home. Was she hanging out with shady people? Well, I think one of them was a bit shady. Hey, I heard that! What? I'm not a criminal! I'm just kidding. She was in this coffee shop talking with Freya and Healer here. She wasn't in any danger. Are you sure? What about before that? Whoa, calm down. Is everything alright? It's just that I feel that she's getting more and more distant. I don't know how to talk to her anymore. Or even what to talk about. I don't know what kids her age are into nowadays. Every time we talk, we end up fighting. I have three daughters. We fight all the time. One thing that I learned, give them time and space, but be there when they need you. Or you can just bribe them. One time I had a fight with my eldest daughter. She didn't want to talk to me for a week. I know she loves pizza, so I went to Rocco's and brought her her favorite pie. Left the pizza on the table like a trap, and then I just waited for her to take the bait, just like a steakhouse. When she took a bite of that delicious pepperoni, I casually grabbed the slice and sat with her. That pizza really helped smooth things over. After that, she wouldn't stop talking. What if what if she what if what she loves doing is the problem? Rachel loves singing and performing on stage. I'm proud of what she has achieved with her career. She's really young, but the entertainment industry isn't a kind place. Not the label, not the media, not her fans. And I don't trust her new manager. Rachel's just a little girl, whether she gets harassed or forced to do drugs. Did something happen? Well, nothing's happened yet. I just feel it in my guts. Is it possible that you're just being paranoid? I don't know. Maybe. Psst, healer, I need to go now. Thanks for the drink. Take care on your way. Swish, swish, swish. Well, can't you just find another manager? Rachel's already 18, so legally she can sign contracts without parental approval. I've been trying to tell her to quit. But every time I brought it up, we just ended up fighting. As parents, there's really nothing much we can do other than guiding them and being there when they need us. Sooner or later, we'll have to trust them to make their own decisions and everything we've taught them. Hopefully, they'll make the right choices. But what if she makes the wrong? She makes the wrong choices. The, uh, like that's the problem. He's not getting is that kids will make the wrong choices. They will fuck up. second here. I need to get uh, some more to drink. I'm not used to all this talking.
and I'm back. Okay. I can do a background check on that manager. If that will ease your mind, please do. Okay, give me a name. It's Morris. Less name Lester. Morris Lester. We got it. Oh, isn't he the guy in today's paper? Anyway, I'll let you know if there's a hit. Hold on, I gotta take this. I just got a call. I've got to go. I'd love to talk about more about this with you. Let's meet again soon. Wait. You have my contact details. Call me if you ever need my help. Wait. Don't worry, I'm sure everything will be alright. Uh. girl Ben I've seen bad things happen that bad yeah I was against her joining that pop group at first but my wife Rachel's mom she convinced me to give it a chance ever since she's been gone I don't know how to talk to Rachel they're wanting to do more and more of her own stuff. I don't know what to do. What do you mean by her own stuff? Modeling in the solo singing career. It's a whole different world than the band. I'm familiar with that side of the biz. But things have changed, right? Even if it has, I don't think it's for the better. She survived me. I don't even manage to graduate and start a solo career. She sounds like someone who can take care of herself. Don't you think so? But she's not ready. I don't want her to get hurt. There's a lot of bad people out there. People that will want to take advantage of her. Of course! Of course! You are her father. I understand you might be worried. However, you shouldn't hinder her from achieving her dreams. I just want what's best for her. Yeah, but is it is it really what's best though? I think she's born to soar. But she's just a girl, my little girl. Seriously? That's your argument? I didn't mean it to sound that way. It doesn't matter whether she's a boy or a girl. You'll drive her away if you keep on acting like this. With your knowledge, you should be able to help you achieve her dreams. I was once a stubborn young girl, too. Maybe I can give you a son how to handle it. I, I love to hear it. It's okay if I stay a bit longer, healer. Take all the time you need. Military personnel stationed along the East Coast to prevent immigrants flooding in from the Atlantic. Yeah, that would be an interesting thing. <laughs> Doctor from Slashtown arrested for experimenting with child cloning. Werewolf representative pushed the ministry for a more accessible sedative. Are you sure that would be okay? Yes! I mean... It would be really hard to pull off, but it's something that will make the story different. Different isn't always good. It's a neat concept, but you need to handle it carefully. And gracefully. I know. Hey, Gal. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Gala. Am I interrupting? It looks like you were having an intense discussion. It's nothing. Healer was just giving me feedback. It's for the book I'm writing. Sounds like a heavy discussion. What are you up to tonight? 
I'm just planning to sit and relax. Please don't let my president interrupt you. Oh, don't worry about it. Although, I do need to interrupt Healer for a moment. Sure. How can I help you? Can I have a cup of... Mm, you remember my remedy? Of course. Do you want me to give it a try again? My last order might have been the right drink. But let's give it a try again. Just to be sure. Okay. Remember, it has tea and ginger. Yeah, what was it again? Tea, milk, ginger. The milk and the ginger. And that reminds me. Smell, this looks like it. Indeed, I have the same feeling. I've made a note of that mixture. Perfect. Anyway, please don't mind me continue your discussion. Don't worry, Mr. Gallo, we're done for the night. You're done. I have a lot of new homework thanks to you. You're welcome. Is Hyde coming? No, I'm by myself tonight. It's gonna be a peaceful night then. That's mean, Freya. Oh, come on, I was just joking. He needs to learn how to communicate his thoughts nicely, though. He may not look like it, but he's a very kind person, you know. He doesn't show it, that's for sure. It applies to you as well. Oh, come on. Good evening, everyone. Welcome, Mr. Bailey's. Hey, uh, how you doing, Freya? Not good. What's going on? Healer was just criticizing my story. It's called feedback. It's cruel. It's necessary. Sounds interesting. What's the problem with the story? The story is non-linear and quite complicated. Im imagine choose your own adventure storybook but for adults. Sounds pretty common so far. But the cell in and telling you which page to turn to each decision you make will give you a score. What? The score will determine what page you should go to. That sounds more like a video game than a book. I know, it's not that original. But my target here is the mainstream Omnius, huh? With the help of my publisher. This kind of book can go mainstream, just like Choose Your Own Adventure show on Netstream. It was nothing new, but because of the marketing and the names involved, it will reach the mainstream market. That sounds interesting. And highly ambitious, Freya. At least it's simpler than my other ideas, which is making the novel not in the form of the book, but in the form of story cards. <laughs> what? I know, right? As if she has all the time in the world, and that's before even even considering the sensitive issues of setting the story in a world where only humans exist. What did you say? No, there's a reason why it has to be that way. Just wait until I finish it, okay? Alright, alright. As Taylor said, though, I won't have the time. Giving a normal pitch of proof is already a steep climb. Let's not make them out any even higher. Fair enough. What's the story at all about the way? 
you'll have to wait for it. Don't want to spoil the fun, if you say so. Anyway, I haven't ordered anything. What do you want to drink tonight? Ginger latte, if you know how to make it. Coffee, ginger, and milk. Okay. Serve it. Here you go. Thanks. Damn, this is good. With this kind of drink making skill, I wonder why your place isn't any bigger. What we have here now is more than enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. By the way, how are you doing, Bailey's? Still busy with your latest client? Oh, I'm done with her. Done? As if, as in you're dropping the project? Hey, I'm not crazy. I still need the money. Done as I, done as I've finished the job. I spent the past two days making sure it's even done before the deadline. Did she like it? Oh, she loved it. She had some complaints, of course, but I convinced her by using some design terms she doesn't understand. So you finish your job by bullshitting her? <laughs> the finest bullshit, my lady. That's one survival skill every freelancer must have. Are you working on anything right now? No. I'm taking a break from work. I need to work on a few personal matters. Oh. Like you and Lua? Something like that. By the way, I'm curious. How did you guys meet? If you don't mind me asking. Do I got I think I... Food, anything warm, maybe between your music, metal maiden, books, full metal chair head. I'm trying to heal myself and other uh, heal myself by helping other people heal. And Bailey's, we finally got birthday, 10th of August, freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice man. God, that is such an art. And then if everything punk, been listening to punk, pumpkin spice since I was a wee lad. Escaping bloodline to experience life one color at a time. One day I will have my soul ex exhibition. Oh, I don't think I've seen this uh, profile for a little while. I don't mind. It's just that I was young and stupid, you know? Oh, come on. Who hasn't been there? You're right. So, I was a bit of a player back in college. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> and I wasn't... And I was going after then... After my then best friend's girlfriend's friend. Wait, what? Okay, I'll say it slowly. I used to have a best friend. He was an incubus. Okay. Let's call him Cognac. Cog Cognac. Cognac has a girlfriend still following, and the girl and that girl has a friend. The friend is the one I'm after. Ooh, okay. Got it. She was one of the hottest girls there, but everyone knew she wasn't the type of girl you would want to date. Why? It's I don't want to get into details. But this succubus was super hot and all the guys wanted to sleep with her. She was a player too. Huh? That doesn't sound like Lou at all. Because it wasn't Lua, genius. Huh? Lua was my friend's girl. 
Holy moly. This is getting spicier. The other girl's name was. Let's just call her Rose. Continue. I knew Lua thanks to her relationship with Cogn uh, Cognac. That's a fake name you made up, right? Yes. No, will you let me continue without interruptions? Okay, okay. So I asked Lua a lot of things about Rose. She knew what I was after. I annoyed, it annoyed her so much, but I kept on bothering her. I mean, I was a pretty active guy back then. So Lua came over to visit us at one point. I lived with Cognac back in I've been out, and I just got back as Lua's arrived. A total coincidence, we went into our place together and witnessed something surprising. What? Cognac was sleeping with Rose. Holy mother of moly. I saw the look on Lua's face, the disbelief, the anger, the sadness. Without even thinking about it, I punched Cognac in the face. You what? I got into a fight with him. No, I haven't told you. Cognac was a Brazilian jiu-jitsu tutor for kids. He's pretty good. Oh my. Yeah, I landed that one punch, and he beat me to a pulp. Easily. Lua begged me to stop fighting on her behalf. More, <laughs> more like she begged Cognac. Hey, I wasn't kidding. I lost. But I don't give up so easily. I was being pretty bad. So Lua took care of my injuries. It took care of my injuries. We grew closer after that. I don't even remember the exact date, but suddenly that friendship turned into a relationship. That was one hell of a story. I know. Have you seen her by any chance? Yeah. Lua came by a few days ago. How was she doing? She hasn't returned any of my call in the text. Uh-oh. 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 That's a problem. That's a problem right there, folks. Oh, uh-oh. Uh well, she's healthy, that's for sure. She got into an argument, though. With whom? There was this male model. Model? I didn't think she was the type of girl to go out with a model. Oh, they weren't together. What were they arguing about? Well... We were talking about your relationship. Lewis told us the reason behind the fight, about your family stuff, and then this guy, Hyde, joined the discussion. What did he say? He didn't understand why Lua would insist on getting family approval, considering, you know, what? You're willing to leave your own family. You would do that for her? Yes, I would. I'm sick and tired of my family. Why would you say that? Let me tell you about my family. Or should I say most elfin families. They think they're all so high and mighty. If you're born an elf, there are certain unwritten rules you must follow. Reputation and appearance are everything. We must never, ever make our family look bad. This is so rich. This is so high class as fuck. We must never, ever ever make our family look bad. You can only befriend certain people. You must dress a certain way. You can only have certain jobs. Jobs that are deemed worthy and successful. Like being a doctor, a lawyer, a CEO. You know. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be an artist. I love drawing and creating art. However, becoming an artist is not something else would deem suitable. Unless you become the next Da Vinci. So when I switched from a business major to an art major, my parents went crazy. It screamed like they were on fire. They told me I would never be rich or successful. Well, because you ch chose an art degree, you want to know the worst part? They blamed Lua. What do you mean? They blamed her for my dis they blamed her for my decision to pursue my passion for art. They yelled about how her kind is ruining the country. Accusing their, accusing their religion of worshipping the Dark Lord. Accusing her of putting a spell on me and cursing the family. Whoa. Yeah. 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 I've heard th that example before. Yep. Whoa. 
I mean, come on, this is the 21st century. Yeah, not to the elite. That's so not cool. I don't, I don't want to sound judgmental. But your family is racist. Tell me about it. Lua is the only person that can make me feel alive. She showed me how I can be free and pursue my dreams. I don't know why. I don't understand why Lua is so obsessed with the idea of re reconciliation with my family. I just don't get it. No problem leaving my family, you know? I would happily leave them for both of us. What about her? What about her and her family? You may be happy to leave her family. However, it may not be the same for her. I... Kala, do you have something you want to say? Perhaps you can give us a different perspective. Sorry, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. I couldn't help overhearing your story. I assume the person you're talking about is not an elf, correct? Yes, she's a suck of it. Yes, I see. I'm a werewolf. For werewolves, the wolf pack is the most important thing. We put family before any other. We often have our own problems within the pack, but we won't abandon our family for anything. Perhaps that is also true for her and her family. Besides, if you leave your family for her, wouldn't that make your parents believe that all those bad stereotypes about succubi are true? I... never thought of it that way before. Whether you like it or not, your actions will have an impact on her as well. And if you leave your family for her, that will put her in a different spot. She may feel responsible for your actions, but there's nothing to feel bad about. I'm leaving my messy family to create a better one with her. It's easy for you, for you to say that now, but you don't know what the future holds. One day, circumstances might change. One day, one of you will one of you might regret your decisions. One day you might use I left use the I left my family for you card. We love each other. I'll be with her whatever the circumstances may be. You know, love is like a flame. It might burn fiercely at first, but over time it will die down if you don't maintain it. Maintaining it won't be easy. It will be hard work. Because life, life is full of storms. And marriage, it will not survive on love alone. Truer words have ever been spoken. Whoa, that's deep. We'll have each other and that's enough for it. Tell me. Do you have health insurance? What? I'm an elf, why would I need health insurance? You'll need some. What for? Immortality is an ill and privilege, but you'll lose it if your family disowns you. I've seen people go bankrupt because they fell ill or got seriously injured. Empty their entire life saving for an $8 pill, because in this country they charge $20,000 for it. If you decide to have children, they won't have the same privileges you do. There's a high probability they'll get bullied for being a half-breed. There are consequences. It shouldn't be taken lightly. Think about it. Anyway, I got to go. I apologize for my intrusion. No, thank you for your insight. I've got to go too. Want to head out together? Sure. Thanks for the drink healer. And Freya. Bye. Made me lose two customers in a minute. Hey, that wasn't on me. They were leaving anyway. Are you gonna write in your, that in your book? It's a secret. If your book is based on this coffee shop, how can you present a story like theirs in a world where with only humans around? I'm not sure. Perhaps a hot drink will give you some inspiration. Sounds like a great idea. Tuesday, September 29th, 2020.
WHO vows to stop a uh, major hospital selling Fury sedatively. Couchella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. Sports tournament in a space. Sports tournament space might be only a few decades away. He never, he really never changed. I know, but it was surprisingly nice catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, healer. I like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment? Yes. I think the last one was Remedy, but there's no harm in checking some other combinations. All right. You know what to do. Uh-huh. Yeah. No. Uh, where's that? Uh, where's that? Uh, that, that uh, team. Try this. Thank you. Just what I needed. What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. Couldn't help overhearing you, boss. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a couple of dwarves. Those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know Kung Fu. Besides, I had a couple of drinks and I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trashed, Hyde. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time, we didn't even know each other, but because of the whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. And obviously he was too drunk to drive, so I hailed the cab. Turns out he was also too, tell too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. <laughs> Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those tourists could have killed me. Who were they? I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, but it's possible they, c they may have had ties to the Mafia. And I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes. They wanted me to launder their dirty money, so I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. But a stroke of luck, the universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. After the trouble you caused me the night before, hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it was my proudest moment. I was broke, and breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job, especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans. Ah, I see. So how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital, Gala? Well, when he was working for me, I noticed. Hide. I preferred it if we skip that part. I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. I just say, something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say, oh, this guy in my life, thanks to his stubborn persistence and helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, healer. I'd like to order something now. What would you like? Can you make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time? And I'm gonna say that right quick. Resume. So, tea. So warm would be... Let's 
exactly what I wanted. By the way, it feels this place is missing something today. Yeah, I haven't seen her today. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hello, good people. And one vampire. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Freya, by the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I'm just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how do you pick up young girls enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. <laughs> I have no interest in fighting with you. I got high standards, you know. You. you look so tired, Freya. Hard day at work. Oh, that reminds me. healing my draft and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. I'm glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. Also I did some stories from paper. Overall it was a good day. That's good to hear. But please don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. Hmm. It's pretty boring to talk about, but mostly I handle operational stuff happening at the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it will cost them. Kind of like biz devs. For people who like them. You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patrons will find this job, this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people, like my friend here, would only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind? And about your kind of job. I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside of the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's personal lives, anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mind, especially in front of this lady here. You. She needs to be a bit less loyal, though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Oh, I didn't know that. Wait. 50 years in the same position? Mm-hmm. Holy. Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions, mostly managerial. Take it. Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I told you before, it, I fit perfectly in this position. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with both of you. Are you going to say hi? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, healer. And you, Freya. See ya. Take care on your way. You know, it's kind of hard to believe that someone like Gala can be your best friends. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. How did you guys meet? Seriously, I had to retell that story. Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Hm. All right, then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Whoa. 
ever knew Gala he used to be in the army. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still, though, why didn't he make the jump from, how should I say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story for me? Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on. I won't get into details, but going to war in messages with your head. Oh, you see why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength, so he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma, though, right? Of course not, but it was the only thing he could do, at least the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know about all that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard, and we weren't that close yet, so no personal feelings. I needed his strength, but then I got to be interested in him. Interested? I think he's a cool person. That's all. After a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help, but he refused. No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. How? Oh, it's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in this therapy session, but in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me, and not so long after that, he started working at the hospital, and he's been working. Ah, uh, this area. Oh boy. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. We are also glad to see you, Barbista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name, we sure have. On Earth, please call us, calls us Neil. Neil. Yeah. Oh, do I have the full? The fact that I've been blood sober for 10 years now. Past stock trader, entrepreneur, venture capitalist. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, that's a nice change. Anyway, Neil. Yes, Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we don't really need trivial things like names to interact. But what, from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of association with our theme's efforts in intergalactic exploration. Ah, oh, I get what you mean. I believe we didn't meet last time we were here. I saw you from afar when we left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You can say I'm a regular here. Hi. For someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Ooh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles or more? More. Much, much, much more. More to the point where strange, your strange calculus system means nothing. That sounds very far away. What are you doing here in Seattle? Undo all your kind dress like this? Oh, this? We chose this appearance based on the image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah, the Army Gendru album cover? No wonder you look familiar. As for what we're doing, this place is really perfect spot to practice our communication skills with our things. For that, please let us order something from the purpose. So, what do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it. Yes. Yes. So, anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyway. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting present, but we doubt you'll be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. Let's make something really bitter. Not the ant 
Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking? That's how they drink. Whoa, boy. You are one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yes. But you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, what are you Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in space, you call the Milky Way. What kind of job? You're tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. You, you really are here to find a date? All the way from a galaxy far, far away? <laughs> wow. Turns out Perv exists anywhere, everywhere in the universe. <laughs> Feelings attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand, but we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it is going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, not many women can handle that. <laughs> Could you handle them, though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you just decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If you got... If you got... If... If it got you in a good story. <laughs> Alright. Oh, you're not offended by that? Not in the slightest. You're wrong, though. I go on a date with them, but I don't like to sleep around. Really? To be honest, I didn't expect that. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean you're willing to agree with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. Yeah! <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, someone who can't read the lines. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner, but in exchange for stories, but only but only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. This is... this is very strange. According to what we have found, many earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yes, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. Why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Hmm, not that you mention it. We don't have enough... We don't have enough control of ourselves, and those in charge don't have enough control of us. Not to mention some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and they can be strictly enforced, a lot of people will still break them. We, we know Earthling boasts about the concept of free will, but we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least that's what we gather from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We have learned so much today, but we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? <laughs> First of all, I was just suggest going step by step. Oh, I love Adil. He's.
in the back. First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time you start by dating, boyfriends or girlfriends, you know, before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So how can we become your boyfriend? You can start by, work, by asking whether she's single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be our girlfriend? No. The path of starting to date varies between people. But usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone. Wow. The breeding process on Earth is surely extremely complicated. It can be easier if you're a smooth talker. Smooth talker? Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have an offspring? Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. How do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink, condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm. That's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that, but we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to do the mating ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. You will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that, especially the mental part. We did our research, and we tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity for Earthling is far more complicated than anything on else, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our missions. We have to report our findings to the base. How you proceed with your mission with this new found information? We are not sure yet. It is yes to be discussed. After all, it was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care on your way, sir. That was really something. Indeed. You say the first time they came here was for a date? Yeah, but the date never came. And then they mistook Miss Myrtle for their date. The game developer orc? Wow, I dread to think how that went. It was pretty awkward. But you can't be angry at such a, a na naivety. I guess so. By the way, has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some, some concern now, are you? I'm just curious. No, I haven't seen her since then. But her boyfriend did came a few days ago, and Freya was being pretty nosy to the point where Mr. Gala joined the discussion. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with the, that it's not easy to make any gala join a random conversation. Unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to see you all tomorrow, so I'm off for the day. Oh, leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. I'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. <laughs> anyway, I need to get going as well. Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract the people to the coffee shop. Hmm, that's one way to put it. Anyway, Fred, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. Alright then, see you around. Take care on your way, folks. Day complete.
protest arrives over a government treatment of Atlantic immigrants. Four MMA cards face challenge against an unexpected competitor. The Mother Earth Organization fights to save more forest. Welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Imm Imm Immigration Regulation and Informants. Enforcement Division. Oh, fire or, for sure. or fire for sure. Ah. How may I help you? We've heard we've heard uh, we've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you considered to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. <laughs> I love how he has a neuralizer in his pocket. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's uh, a pretty eye catching outfit. You think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we've been running around after false testimony. They are superior creatures after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. Will do, sir. You don't. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We're good. Take care on your way. <sighs> you really need to be more careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, I know who that is. Good evening, healer. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua. Miss Martin. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? You want to order first? Nah, you go first. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? The green tea with the mint. And how uh, we have brew it. Mara check. <clears throat> Your drink's ready. Ooh, this looks really fresh. I call the I call this Mara catch, inspired by its origin. Mar uh, Mara Czech has been Morocco. I've heard that the people re there really love tea. Let's give it a try then. Oh my, it's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Pardo? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the Te Tariq. Te Tariq? That's the Tay Tariq. Do I even have the Tay Tariq? I don't think I have the Tay Tariq. Let's save the game.
here should be it. Tay Tariq. Here's your Tay Tariq. Hmm. Is there anything wrong? No. Better than I thought it would be, actually. I totally did not look that up. Please do not judge. The taste is really authentic, just like the Tay. Tay Tariq, you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yeah, some from videos on the internet. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual, tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while now. I'm glad it could be of help. It's not every day a research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. Uh oh, is this the crunch talk? Are we gonna talk about the crunch? Make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Uh oh, we are going to be talking about the crunch here, folks. Oh, I want to say please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and your team. Huh. As if those ex executive cares about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family get some rest, but we all know. That optional overtime is a passive-aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway, because if you go her earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. At least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry, and it's still sad to me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. I'm sorry, I ruined th I'm sorry you ruined the mood for everyone. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us the decent compensation, health care bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to this. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. That is true. Hey, cheer up. Remember... Your research has helped us a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got the approved at Max West this year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? confirm it fast before they give your spot to another indie. I, I'm just not sh sure about it. What's stopping you? Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the events even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prol prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. Although game journalists, uh, uh, trusting game journalists at this point should not. Uh, I highly doubt. Highly doubt. I know, but I told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. A thousand people will be visiting Max. Expecting full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know, and you'll be in the indie area. True. So true, Miss Myrtle. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game or say bad things about it or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. Uh, I mean, after all that, I still be 
there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem. Yeah, meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? <laughs> so far, my schedule is pretty empty around that. If things stays this way until Max, I'll come with you. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then. You shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come, come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, but. I'm coming with you, whether you like it or not. Oh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show the game on? I have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? We're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what you have to have for the expo build. Yeah, you don't go that far. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want to do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, healer. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day, and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to be going to perform at Coachella next week. They're still adding the performers. Yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Backups. Oh... But it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes! And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. I can do that. Uh, sweet. And we put in the honey. Chocolates is ready. Thank you. How is it? Hmm. Not bad. It's not special. Okay, I get the point. Okay. So I'm gonna chocolate as a base. Sweet, I love it. 
Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long you'll be play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't make them wait too long. That makes sense. If you don't want to put it, put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a clip thing. That should get the people's attention. Noted. Dad? What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening, I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio, so I thought you'd be here. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Healer. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are... you are sorry? I don't have anything to be sorry for. Well, anyway, I better order something. What are you having? What would you recommend? And I said, Jeff, a cup of Spanish Sahara. Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. That sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish Sahara. With the milk and the ginger. And uh, we hit the brew button. And the uh, pretty pictures up here. And we get... Spanish Sahara. Your drink is ready, sir. I might. No, oh, let me see if we got. Favorite thing is me time. As I've seen before. Yeah, this, this is literally the profile of a game dev. This right here. And... Nice photo. Hi there, I'm Rachel Clay, you may see me and see me dancing. I'm working on a new album right now, especially for you right now. My, my, this is amazing. Glad you like it. Dad. Yes. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until, not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his brand, making his name, and reaching a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much, and even if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry, too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to understand. Then make me understand, because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? You were together for almost 15 years, but you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Uh, Rachel, I... I'm sorry, but I'm trying, okay? Try harder! Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn, but I am learning more. You know. I could return to the industry. I could try to be your manager. Dan, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you I had my informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are still... There are things I need to figure out. But we... It doesn't work that way, Dad. You know... You know that. And going from a girl band to a solo... And going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I'll lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? 
I don't think so. Mr. Lester is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now please, go home. Relax, and, I, and don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. And it's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel! Excuse me for a moment, healer. I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we're busy minding our own business anyway. What, you didn't hear their argument, Myrtle? Of course I heard them. I just choose to ignore most of all of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my t attention so completely. Especially when there's an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? No, I was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, healer, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. That's all for two. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you all right, sir? Sir? Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I lost her. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's all right. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes, I... Th throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? Huh. <sighs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were walking in the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. And there's, and they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met with my wife while working. We studied. She worked hard for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peace for life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it is good. But what hit me the hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. I can say that. The teenage girls especially. They were crazed about their idols, to the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending spending all of their money to copy and copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men they were even worse. Ah Uh, I think it's trying to make hints at the Japanese idol industry. In case you don't know, uh, Oshi no Ko is a good anime for that uh, going on right now. Uh, check it out. And the men, they were even worse. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. I did photos stalking, 
outright sexual assault. And it was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the, the abuse, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for us. It's more than enough for our little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry? They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. Are you gonna be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. You're stronger than most people think. See you later, healer. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye. Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Coachella organized reminds parents to not let's <laughs> pretend to be God this photo. <laughs> ah, there's the news. Gail Neiman and Mariki Hakumi to calibrate for a new IP. Ooh. Uh, Freya might be into it. Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me, what? Is it possible for us to work here? What? Why? We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our mind to learn that you need to mix verbal and nonverbal communication here. Yes, but I can I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of our biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We have learned them here. This made us think. Instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthly prophecy. That is how... Very good. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we uh, we ask you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you can finally get a job. If you get it at all. Oh, let me think this over if you don't mind, and I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh no, we are sorry for for our spontaneity, but it has, has to be today. May I know why? Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm, okay. Okay, thank you, but with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with customers. Some people come here just to chill. They may not come. They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign when you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? 
Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though, to help keep your suit clean and to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation, but it will make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. It is. All right, then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. Welcome. Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, healer. What's going on here? Well, Neil's working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. It's not that. Neil is just helping out. You never look like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are actually the person who is getting help from the Barissa, not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived, and we have came to a conclusion before starting another breeding mission. We should learn about how where things communicate. We thought this place would be the best place to learn. And then you just agree to this? On one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. <laughs> What's in it for you, then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, is there anything you want from us? Please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Wait, do I have... Oh, that's a nice picture of Aqua. Freya. If I still need to write if I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? Yes. How did you find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? In the elevator. Yes. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift. And the higher-up mentioned our encounter to her. The chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that... Hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do to do according to our senses. It was. So, what we, what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. I trust you with the decision. Okay.
Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why you place only served hot drinks, but today I might have an idea why. How far are you along with the novel? I can pair the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I don't need to really care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable. Even without the caffeine. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about earthing bodies about all races, and we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Ugh, I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just Neil. Freya wasn't serious about fusing herself with coffee. Oh, we are glad to hear that then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. True that. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are now here to learn the basics of how Miss Freya, if we may ask, ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm, I don't think I have the exact number of full time. But I should be able to write three and three, between three and five thousand words per day. That's, that's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. Uh, I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words that for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's Grom Media, the biggest publisher around. And if it counts based on the number of words, it seems that you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't the only only about the, uh, the number of words, Neil. True. It requires things outside the mere word count. If we only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we have learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yep, Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts, writing in. But you're not wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can actively... You can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing. But it's still up there. So it is still a valid parameter? Definitely. Cool. <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you're real. You really are learning something on Earth. Oh, another guest. Good evening, Miss Myrtle. I won't even ask. Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a lot. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee, coffee. And I'll make one save. Save the game. Coffee. sit without being disturbed. Uh, pardon us. Uh, I was just training in Neil and how to talk to him because I can see that he's still trying to get laid. Er, oh, no, we are not. We are tasked with learning how Earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion, if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Essentially, is not really listening at all. Sorry about that. Be right back.
and back. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try. Step by step. One small step for you. Might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Freya. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know it. Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion, it's just... I'm sorry, I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What is this? Uh, what is happening here? I already told the bar is... I already told the bar it... The barista to call the cops when... I already told the barista to call the cops when, when he said... It was, said... I already told the barista to call the cops when he's... When he said he was going to breed here. Where is Healer? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Whew. Okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. <laughs> God. She is such a shy anime nerd. Feeling better now? Yes, I'm sorry. It is all right, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here, anyway? We are starting to think that we may need to re make a recording for the answer to this question. I'll have to tell, uh, tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break, anyway. So, here is the deal. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, either. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do know what to. But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer, as if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start, but we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Why do you want to go after this, Couchella? What? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening during Couchella. That is why we decided the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong, but didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that, but we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is why we will study in Couchella. After that, we will be ready to breed with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell, that sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know. We are we are also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We work here. Alright, so let's return to our spot behind the bar. So, our discussion with me. What are, uh, are you two doing together? Er, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, that's it. I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. No, no. From, I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I never made a game from scratch before. I was always a bystander, so I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today, I wanted to thank her directly, but she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But, wait. If you want to thank her directly, does that mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be... Oh, you... Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How do you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. Fourth wall break. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game? There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix. The players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people f for a video game? 
That depends on the game, but in Aqua's case, most of my, of my advice was about pacing, control, and UI and UX. Ugh. Must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removed some of the weight off my on my chest. I just need to replace it with my other weight. I mean, there's still more to come after you're done. I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish the draft on time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya, but please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I've read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app, and I read some of your stuff you wrote. Hold on. Ugh. I need to get more to drink. Back. Sorry. They're really good, you know. Some of them are even better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. No, oh, that reminds me. So I'm excited to check out check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same what Miss Myrtle's going through, so I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. Don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, it's just that... Sharing is caring, you know? Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know, I said thanks already, alright? But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know that. <sighs> Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. We're gone something for two years straight. No one outside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes, I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on them? A secret project. I'll, t I'll tell you under friend, friend, and friend NDA. Okay, all right. I'm not with the paper anymore. Anyway, I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP, or worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? Yeah. That's what I thought at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. Three years. 
That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My teams have been making pitchers dozens of hundreds, thousands, but all, out of all those Kotlin pitchers, only a handful got approved. Got approved for typing. So far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Yep, that sounds like AAA game development, all right? Ouch. Nope, oh, didn't hit my chat up. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target. We, we jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized what? Usually developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Yes, that's why you need a vacation, but I can't just take one. You can! In fact, you will do it tomorrow, but tomorrow is I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow and the day after and tomorrow the day after and another day after I'm off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will. I'm going I'm going with you I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. But what about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey, okay, but I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? Still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm, all right. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua, looks like you look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. God, it's so anime. I love, but I love it though. Fair heart getaway, I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to the bus stop like last night. Oh, okay then. Everyone see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation. Okay, see you folks later. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. But not now. I got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. And please, take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be to be going on with? Still in the house? I definitely won't say no. Friday, October 2nd, 2020. And the news today, the Evening Whispers is with people for stricter gun laws. New Healthier Fury said it might be available soon. Action video game, uh... Cringe. So much cringe. Welcome. Good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Evening. I'm the first customer to my You are. That's new. Freya's not here. She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with the meeting some fellow or why not do it here? It's her favorite place, right? Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not much as her. Writers gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know. If she says they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they're writer friends, they're probably talking about work, either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. 
they even use code they even use code words for meeting up oh it's not like that she doesn't even realize that's what she says i just picked up on it that's even more interesting are you always so observant it's part of the job. Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others. But their body language can be loud and clear. It can tell you a lot about other things, whether they need a friendly ear or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. That's deeper than what I would have thought. So what are you reading from me now? I won't say. Why? That would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to to our customer is always higher. Is always related to what I'm getting from the body language, including our interaction now. Including our interaction now. Man. Now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was not to make me feel like like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate with ginger and cinnamon. Here, that's a good drink for a uh, bitter heart. And we save that game. Hot uh, chocolate with the ginger and the cinnamon. And get more can't get any more literal than that. Hmm, you're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink. Only for special people and special drink. Say, hey, healer, tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. <laughs> oh man. I guess I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. But that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. What should I ask next? Hello, everyone. Why are you both looking at me like that? Freya. You look horrible. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? You better be... No, let me check the uh, massage and see if any... asking what didn't happen because the answer would be proper sleep and decent progress on my draft you need to rest and miss my deadline hell no sorry Bailey's I won't be able to keep you company because I have to finish this thing and for that I need a whole hell of a lot of espresso are you sure about that you really should just rest get something to help you sleep. Espresso! Please. I'm gonna save that. Drink. 
Okay, it's on the house. It better be. Ugh. Let me hold on one second here. Here you go. What the hell, dude? This isn't even coffee. Drink. But this isn't what drink. Okay, it's on the house. Better be. Uh, how was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice, but that also means things, and not a not a small number of them when you need to be rewritten. Oh, oh, it's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that. It's just. I'm going to my usual corner. Although, thanks to your drink, I'm not sure whether it be stay awake or not. She looks horrible. She does. But don't worry about her. She'll finish it. That isn't the first time she acted like this. No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm? So, what brings you here today? Not even sure of myself. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came to mind. Out of the blue. I'll have to, th I'll have to thank your subconscious then. I guess you should. Uh oh. Not whether not sure whether I should thank it or not though. Hi Lua. Hi Baileys. How you you first, no you first. I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. you. I'm good, yeah. <sighs> I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, healer. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Coffee 
is the best. pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs on at the moment because, well, you know. Yeah, I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very little thing to ask, but yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end? It kinda did. 
They paid me on time, at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? I'll tell you this, but don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Healer, who's standing in front of us. Not even Healer. So there's this girl. I love her. I've been going out for a few years, but I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new, but somehow... Things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired. Not knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? I'm not, even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe. Or tiredness. Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Hey, Elise. I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really? If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I put on a lot of masks just to hide the feelings I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once, you gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week, including that supermodel. You knew. That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. How does that make you feel? Like a fool. He said a lot of things I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know. Attitude-wise. You get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Ever heard that, that before? A lot. From a certain hipster elf. After listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? Not sure, Baileys. What about you yourself? Had any similar experience this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire and I met a werewolf. <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm. Not much, to be honest, but he made a good point about the importance of family. Baileys. I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to make peace with my family. And I know that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was it? I was just using it as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually... When I actually want to do that anyway, for myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And I know you feel uncomfortable with people. Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. What should we do, Lua? Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier things to do after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time. But you won't have the perfect health and the perfect life that's the elven privilege. But that's not a perfect life without you. 
But if your relationship doesn't last, you'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I'll never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would have bl never blamed himself. Hundred reasons for something, uh, for why something sailed, but never anything to do with them. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I learned so many things by being with you for ten years. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life, because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Paley's, I... I believe in you. Blue. Paley's, I feel like we're living in a soap opera. It seems so. So what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. What? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just, I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It'll be all right. Well, they never forbade you from dating other races, right? They're not big fans of Elf, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's set, then. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But we can think about it. And anything else. Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua. Thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Healer. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See ya. Thank you for coming. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world? I just pretend not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons of why I'm writing this story, so I have to see their struggle through to the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cool. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done, and I don't... Uh-oh! He said, Whoa! Freya, get over here. This wolf, is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a fury like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. Relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? Oh. Let's save the game. Milk. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Tea, milk, ginger. What the hell? 
Al? Is that really him? After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Whoever he is. This place survived. Thankfully, yes, but I think I need to close up shop early. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. Then I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See ya. Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. We're seeing company criticized for unfair depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Coachella 2020, do's and don'ts. Atlantic ambassador in talks with fire in regard to regarding immigration. Welcome. Hey, Haler. Good evening, Freya. You look very cheerful today, and it's all thanks to you. What did I do? <laughs> I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Like, I slept like a log. A proper 12 hours of closing my eyes and not thinking about anything. Good for you. You really needed that, I know. But I have the deadline coming, and I'm pushing myself to finish this draft. <laughs> so she, her story's still up. bit too much, I guess. So, how's it going now? You won't believe this. I probably will. When I, when I woke up this afternoon, words just flow through me like water. Not forced crap like I've been writing recently. That's why taking a break is important. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to start lecturing me now. So, what's your plan now? Now, as I'm writing this moment, I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face, and after that, I'll continue writing. Sounds like a solid plan. Do you know where the restroom is? Freya, you're unemployed. I waste your money on a coffee, on coffee shop drink. That is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. If you only need the vibes of the place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? But... See, there's a customer coming right now, so don't worry, you worry about me. Oh. Hi, Gala. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Freya, healer, I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala. Hey, it's alright. I don't got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said, no casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hmm, why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? Do you want anything to drink, Freya? No, it's alright, y'all. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. These will help stop them. At least it will help me stop feeling so guilty, at least a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee, not an espresso money, something with a little less of a kick. You want to make sugar and spice? The one with cinnamon? Yes. A cup of sugar and spice, please. I think I had that. Coffee, 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 coffee. Where's the sugar and the spice? Coffee, honey, honey and cinnamon. And the brew. Serve it. Sugar and spices with for the lady with the vices. Hey. Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gal. Don't mention it. 
Yeah, are you sure there's nothing I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gal. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do, but there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Hmm. The hospital was really packed yesterday after that announcement. Announcement? The one saying the, the, that a replacement government issue fur fury said it will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of the full moon was just stupid. So many restless werewolves came asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. The announced and said it wasn't ready, that it was just coming soon. You think people read the whole article? I only saw the headline or glanced at it in the news stall, and then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them, though. Finding out that only publicly available and finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous is difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain to a dozen of werewolves and even had to put some rogue werewolves in isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point where we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I would have asked a friend to lock me to one of the isolation rooms, of course, but he couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment, but it was too late. Thankfully, I was in this area and managed to force myself to come to your place. Yala, excuse me for ask, asking you this, but didn't you hurt anyone? You didn't. As far as I remember, no, and I didn't see any blood on my clothes. That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday, but I have enough control to make sure I didn't have a, as long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually, I end up destroying stuff around me, or worst case, hurting myself. Despite all that, I'm still glad no one got hurt. I was looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. Please, is there anything we can do to pay back? I mean, if there's anything I can do to help. Please, don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure. What are you having? The same as yesterday. Special brew. Thank you. The drink that saved me once again. Thank you. For helping me find this drink. By the way, Gallo, now that you can be 100% sure, is sure that drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put in some bo some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? Well, that's the plan. It has to be warm, though. We can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. I'll give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. I'm not taking any risk. Or I can make sure how effective that remedy is. Yeah. What the? R Rachel? What's going on? <laughs> what else? Your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking coming backstage again? At, Co at Coachella, I just just to get into an argument with my manager, huh? Before we can continue, healer, a cafe latte, please. I save the game. Yes, save the game, please. Coffee and the big Hmm. That's chocolate. No, well, let's try it. Okay, I got it. Let me 
me see here. He told security he was my father, and he messaged me about coming beforehand, said he was just going to do it to wish me luck, so I told them to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first, then my manager came, and mm, I don't know why he hates me so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. Did the concert go well, at least? Oh, yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play first one to play on the main stage. Usually, no one pays much attention to ever on first, but there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this? Not really. I did my stage time, and then there was this press conference after the show. Yeah, the pre-show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me, so we decided just to do a mini-conference. Good for you. You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am, thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you. But your manager probably works on his influence, too. <laughs> so why are you here? Ugh. Because of Dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the par party Mr. Lester is hosting. What well, party? We're hosting a party for VIPs and artists and scene managers. And a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time, because Mr. Lester, my manager, and it's his party. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know you can do that. No, I know you can do that by using his name, but I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an. Ad no, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been one? Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. That's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Er, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out. Especially if you keep Lester on as your imaginer. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an underage person to his party? That might be a bit too far. Well, huh? Uh, meow. What the hell? Oh no, 
Dad. What? Rachel, is that Mr. Henry? Yes. Dad. What happened? Healer, can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Ye just milk. Me ow. Milk. Here. Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Can someone call me in an ambulance, please? They're on the way. I've contacted the hospital. Thank you. I've also contacted our Neko, uh, Neko Mimi expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. Don't mention it. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Ooh, boy. That was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at your place? Well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day. It's not every day you look at things from the right side. Huh. Well, I'm one of your copy, uh, coffee... Uh, I'm Well, I'm one of your coffee shop disciples, right? So I kind of understand them. I hope Hendry's all right. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. But you're playing for the rest of the night. Well, that was all pretty hectic, but I need to continue writing. Take your time and place him. Will do. Uh, we should be... Please read um, private Co Coachella after party. It is biggest drug and sex related pause of the year. Fight broke out during Coachella. Culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Coachella will go on. Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound tonight? So far, so good, officer. With with the cops who is supposed to be watching this area. With the cop who's supposed to be uh, watching this area hanging out in the coffee shop. I'm not so really sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, healer, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. Coffee, 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 coffee. Energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition, officer. <laughs> it is for her. She thought if it, she can make a better one, I'll stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And in two days in a row, as if the gods were trying to give me a first-hand experience to use my story. Still fretting over your story, yeah? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up me well. Uh, Quantity-wise, they're shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, 
I'm pretty confident if that's the luck, then do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos for the werewolf case? I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the precinct were talking about it, but in the end, we agreed not to do it because he really helped us. A lot that night. We asked folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without in, we would have had a lot more problems. He helped a lot getting most of, most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone, so those who would rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. I'd be, I'd be pretty mad at you if they did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? Not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Coachella. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far, but he wouldn't be able to walk it, not in that state. So far, that's all I know. Rachel! Rachel, is, is Mr. Hendry all right? Before that, can I have a cup of hot chocolate, please? Dark. Oh, wait. Um. Wrong. Ready. Thank you. Uh, Dad's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon, thanks to Mr. Gal. Got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers, but no permanent injuries we need to worry about. And that's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't listen to him. And all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense, but it's okay for, for you to leave your father... But is it okay to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit, so I told Dad I'm going to visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel, what really happened was Dad got into a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me in some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh, so he didn't like that, of course, so he morphed into his cat form and started a fight with the thugs. Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify, and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Ooh, boy. The reason why they didn't take... The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They were Mr. Lister's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they were doing. And I was the topic of discussion. Ugh. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch, but he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. I wish your mom was here. She know what to do. I don't know what to say to Dad when he's recovered. 
You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is that Two weeks later. Cachuelo Fe Festival proves to be major boost for Seattle Tuning. More women have spoken out and claim Marcel Morris uh, Lester line. Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Hello! You're finally here. Hey, y'all. Hey, yo. Hi, Freya. Someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they? They approved it. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Oh, my. Do you know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I say somewhere between ecstatically and rupt rupturiously. You're goddamn right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How did they react to the draft? To be honest... They, they're not that excited about the story itself. A story with an unhappy ending, huh? And that's what they said. But at this point, I don't really care as long as they publish it. I'm content with that. Anyway, whatever happens with the book now, I can take things a little slower because they gave me a year to finish it. With a feedback session every month. Sound professional enough? Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. We've had a lot of new customers lately, and some old-timers, of course. I hear in hides back from his trip to Korea. Yeah, he brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any from me, I'm not sure, but he did say he's always, he always gives gifts directly. Gift-giving the old-fashioned way, huh? How about you? Things are great. The last time I saw you uh, before your mini-break? Yes, and we decided to go to Coachella. Wow. That event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival was enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. I never knew a historical trip would be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. <laughs> uh, nice. You both look so cute. Oh, man. 
<laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No, it was at Max. They had a Japanese style photo booth there, so I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. I helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. I don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any you heard from Neil? No, not me. They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Couchella. It's not even that far away. Why send a postcard? Hard to tell with him. What about the second one? It's from New York. What? What are they doing in New York? Maybe it's me. Working on their mission, maybe? <laughs> yeah, probably. I stand more of a chance there. Anyway, guys. We're leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care on your way, then. Left with the novel. Thanks. See you, healer. See you around. They look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you would be comfortable with in, in such a short amount of time. Yeah, anyway. Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. It's late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after ten years together, we're finally moving in together next month. Wow, congrats. I thought Lua Lu lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently, and her company is providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. <laughs> you should say that to a fellow freelance. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey, it's alright. Freya and Healer have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey Freya, and Healer. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great, but not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place, so they want to cut my community costs as much as possible. That's softball of them. Means they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Uh, also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot, anyway. Don't mention it. Question for both of you. Go on. Last time we met, I believe we were going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did it go? Man, her father didn't kill me, at least. Well, at least Papa didn't... At least uh, well, Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's where you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no, which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's, we need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict. Didn't take you... I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC a lot. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me playing the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. I bet I didn't, didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Bailey. She worked on the game. Really? <laughs> oh, well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again one of these days. You probably will. I go on, you love birds. You don't want, you don't want to miss the movie. All right, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, healer. Enjoy the movie. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in the past, but they're moving forward. Yes. How will you write their story? Yes, it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. Ha! That's one way to put it. Anyway... What's that look for? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped. 
You only skipped coming for 10 days. What do you expect? Come on, they played an important part in my reigning process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me, where should we start? And here is our epilogue. Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. He said he's considering moving back to Seattle, if his agency allows it. Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small ink games. The difference is she's not alone now. <laughs> Neil. The only news about them are the two postcards. Yeah, probably because there's a drink you can give them that I forgot about. Rachel is back at the recording studio preparing for her first solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news made the news of the legend coming back to the industry. Finally, Freya, she finished her book. It gets gets published and has some signing sessions. Sadly, the book didn't sell well. She still still visit regularly now working. Ah they didn't get the good ending with her. Hello. Hello, healer. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Oh, of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then? Multiple successes. And what's with the new look, then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an earthling immigration agency is after me. Now that you mention it, someone did visit the, this place looking for you. When was it? Not so long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. That fire agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. So, you finally noticed. To think that such power can be born from our kind. You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where I... Where I forgot to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. <laughs> interesting. Now I'm curious to know about this thing. So this is where it tells you. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then, the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh. That was that one night right after Freya got her draft of you. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how to communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. Yeah, so that's, uh, so yeah, that was, uh, Coffee Talk, so basically, um, just, yep, so that was basically, I don't think I got the best ending of the game, especially with, um, Freya and stuff like that, and so it's a type of game that I recommend that you play through the first time and then watch a guide to see what drinks you have. And I did use a guide for some of it, and it's not like I was spoiling it myself, like I said. So, uh, that's all for this stream. Uh, next week on Saturday, we'll be continuing with Hibis Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly, which I'm really looking forward to. So, I would like to thank uh, nobody for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.